हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज़ आर बेसिक्स ऑफ स्क्विंट नॉर्मल आई वर्जेज स्क्विंट आई लुक एट दिस पिक्चर्स वेन योर आईज आर अलाइनमेंट एट अ सेम टाइम यू आर लुकिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट फ्राम ईच आई टू आइडेंटिकल इमेज फॉर्म बट दीज टू इमेज फ्यू सिंगल इमेज इन अ विजुअल कॉटिक्स ऑफ अ ब्रेन बट वेन योर आईज आर मिस अलाइनमेंट दैट इज अ स्क्रीन इफ यू लुक एट दिस पिक्चर दैट एन लेफ्ट आई इज इन वर डेविएशन बिकॉज ऑफ डेविएशन अ क्ले इमेज आर नॉट फॉर्म विद इन द ब्रेन सो इफ यू अनट्रीटेड दिस आई इट मे बी एम्बलाइपिया Stravismus can occur at any age sometimes even at by birth also so early detection can treat your eyes so what is definition of stravismus a stravismus is a condition in which the eye do not align properly that is one eye turn inward outward upward downward and other eye focus at one spot This is a normal pictures where the both eyes are in a proper alignment. When your eyes turn toward inward, which is known as a isotropia. When your eyes turn toward outward, which is known as a exotropia. When your eyes turn toward downward, which is known as a hypotropia. When your eyes turn toward up, toward, which is known as a hypertropia what are the causes of strabismus first is congenital or we can say a by birth or infant second is a heredity heredity is also important factor of strabismus third point is a weakness of eyes muscles that is our extra ocular muscles fourth is due to the lesion on our cranial nerve that is our visual pathway of the brain and fifth is a hydrocephalus can cause due to the strabismus that is a fluid which occurs within the brain the other factor that can lead to the strabismus one is myopia second is a hypermetropia and third is a astigmatism symptoms of squint first is eye fatigue due to the excess of new activity which may cause your eye fatigue second is a double vision that you are able to see are two images of a single object third is overlap or blurred images of a letter fourth is a pulling sensation around your eyes fifth is reading difficulty when you are at a near activity and you doing any near tasks Sixth is loss of depth perception that you will not able to appreciate a three D image, and the last is a head tilt. The test to rule out the strabismus first is a Hausdorff Fourier reflex test. Now uh, this test can be used to assess whether the person has strabismus with the help of torch light. Second is a cover text. This is the objective test which can be ruled out the direction and the magnitude of tropia and the phoria. Next is Maddox test or Maddox rod which is a uh, used to subjective detect and measure the deviation of strabismus. After that Kremski test a Kremski test which is placed the prism is placed in front of the deviating eye. Until the cornea reflex become a symmetrical. Now, after that is PBCT, that is prism bar cover text. The prism's power required to negate the ocular movements equal to the angle of deviation. The last is Bruckner test to compare the brightness of pupillary red reflex for both eye. so the treatment of the strabismus the refractive error 
must be corrected by the spectacle. Second is ortho optic exercise nowadays using a VPS core that is vision therapy system, Broxtin, aperture roller to increase the fusional range and muscles power. You can see this kids using a Broxtin. And third is exercise with prism or practice against the prisms with their base turned toward the direction of deviation. And fourth is relieving prism where the prisms are incorporated with the spectacle to correct the defective optical. And the last is a surgery with a permanent solution.